Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today. We're back for another video today, and today we're going to be doing another episode 5 theory for The Walking Dead New Frontier from the Gallows. And today we're going to be talking about who will die in episode 5 as I ran a straw poll from Saturday's video on if Kate was going to survive. I don't know if you haven't checked that video, I'm going to link it down below in the description and as well in the card in the top right. Um, and in that video, we ran the straw poll. And we got up to 83 votes, and our uh, winner with 34 votes was Who Will Die Episode 5. Will We See Age in Episode 5 got 25, Multiple Endings got 20, and Cowards Impact got 4. I will run another straw poll in the description down below if you guys have not voted. Make sure to go vote on that. Um, I will run another couple options. I might uh, bring one or two of the options I did from the last uh, straw poll back into it. And then next Tuesday, or maybe even this weekend, I'll do another one. And then we'll, we're going to do at least around five theories, I would think, five to ten theories before... Um, episode 5 ends up coming out, but again, if you haven't checked that video, it's in the description. If y'all could leave a like on this video, I hope this will be a very good video. I hope I make it very well for you guys, but today, all the characters, what is going to happen, who's going to survive, we know it's the Walking Dead tradition, episode 5 is where everyone goes down with the ship. Episode 5 is going to be filled with death, I can just see it. They're going to hit us in the, the heartstrings like they've done in the first season and the second season, you know people are going to go down it's not going to be there's not going to be just a huge group of people ending up surviving this unless there's some random determined everyone's like determined i don't know but we're going to go through each character today and I, i'm going to go explain what i think is going to happen to them and if they're going to survive or not and what is possibly going to be their impact in this episode all right so we're going to start with javier our main character here javier has been with us since the beginning of season three episode one so what is Telltale's tradition with this main character? Remember we had Lee in Season 1. He went down protecting Clem. Remember he got bit and then you could either uh, put him out of his misery or bring him as a walker. And then Season 2, Clem. Obviously they didn't take that route, but they took out a couple main characters on the side with it. So we'll see what they do with that. They kept Clem alive and she's obviously now with us in Season 3. So what do I think is going to happen with Javier? I see him as a hero. And you know, Javier has been a very, very valuable character. And you know, I... It's not as good as having Clem as the main character, but Javier, I've, I've, over the episodes, I've kind of learned to grow you know, a little more deep connection with him and respect him more. Now, what do I think? I think I've got a couple theories. People have said to me he could be the leader of the New Frontier at the end. Um, something with AJ, he can go off on his own, sacrifice himself, or he could just be, you know, uh, have to make some decision and then move on to the next season. I believe, in my opinion, I think Javier is going to go down and he's going to die. I don't know. My theory for his death, I believe he's going to make a sacrifice. I don't know. It cannot be similar to Lee's. I think it's going to be a little different. But I believe he's going to be a, a man, because I see, I see him as a man who will be willing to put his life on the line for others. So I feel maybe for Clem, David, uh, Kate, if Kate ends up surviving, that he will uh, put up his life and I believe um, he will go down. Um, and then that will continue. It won't be similar to Lee's thing, but I think it's going to be some kind of sacrifice or at least some brave act he's going to do and he's going to end up dying in the process. I, I really don't know if he won't. We'll see. But I believe Javier is going down. Next character, we've got Clementine. Now, this is the one everyone really, really, really wants to know about because... She is basically the entire series. There's no questions asked. I've had tons of comments with this, and I think all everyone can agree. Clementine is what's made this series so good throughout that. Even with Lee and his death, Clementine's been able to carry this series on her shoulders, and she's basically the face of Telltale Games and The Walking Dead in general. So would it be a smart move on Telltale to kill her? Absolutely not. I, even though she is not 100% the main character, there's still, I believe, in the end of this uh, episode, she will end up surviving... And I believe she will go to that Makara Lanch, something with AJ. There's not, but obviously we know it's The Walking Dead, so it's not going to be the most happy ending. We might get something with Kenny. Who knows? That multiple endings video, I might, you know, might have to make a theory on that no matter what, because I believe Clem in the end of this episode is going to be going to this Makara Ranch, and I don't know what she's going to see there. But I believe whatever happens there, she's going to make it out of it. She's going to escape or something, and we're going to probably end up seeing her in season four, I believe. If, but if Clementine does in fact die. I believe this will be the end of The Walking Dead, or at least the end of this kind of story arc, and they will, um, if they ever end up continuing it, obviously they will lose so many fans and so many people will be pissed and never play the game again, but I believe they may make another one, but it would be, you know, how badly it would be received, because people hated it when Lee died, but they respect because they still had Clem. If Clem goes down with ship, people are going to lose their shit. But I believe Clementine will make it, 
they cannot get rid of her. She's just too important. I believe they can put up some more seasons with her and maybe make her another playable. She can make her more of an impact in Season 4. Because I feel this season has been more, mostly about Javier and his family and how they've adjusted. They wanted to maybe get away from Clem for a little bit. But Clem's still a part of the story. There's no questions asked. But I believe she's going to make it. She's going to be one of the characters. Javier, what's her? Javier dead, Clementine alive. Then we've got Kate. I talked about this in the video. I'm going to link it down below in the description if you haven't already looked at it but I believe Kate is gonna die I'm not really gonna go in depth on why I said it but if you want to check that video it's in the description I believe she's going to die in a decision at the end of the uh, episode 5 um, I don't know what's gonna be but I think there's gonna be a choice between her and David on who's gonna be alive and one of them's gonna be a determinant character I believe that might happen or they she might just die in the beginning or she might just die near the end because they need to have some main character die the, Clem, Javier, Kate, uh, David, and Gabe. They're basically, I see, as the main kind of family characters here. At least two of them, I, two or three of them are going to die. I, it, or, you know, go missing or run away or do something like that. But I believe uh, Kate is going to die. So next we've got Eleanor. Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. How I had potential for her character, she seemed like a really nice lady, episode 1, episode 2, nice talks, and then episode 4 came at the end when she ended up revealing that we were going to try and rescue David, and I lost all respect for her. I really hope she dies, and I believe she will die. I believe there's gonna, she might be a determinant character as well, because I believe we're going to have a decision either to kill her or spare her, because... There is no excuses for what she did. She basically sold us out, and in her own cost, she she could have lost her boyfriend with the determinant decision. Well, I should say, in quote unquote boyfriend, because they had uh, obviously squabbles and stuff. But I believe um, she is going to be dead, and I I hope we get the decision to kill her. I mean, I'm not saying you know that'd be not nice to kill her, but you know, she's kind of like Bonnie to me. I just really have lost all interest in her, and I really don't like her anymore because she sold us out just like Bonnie did and I really don't like people that saw you know people especially she sold out her damn boyfriend or at least best friend trip and he could have died from that and she's like oh please don't kill him well you, you revealed the location you, you revealed that they were coming and they found trippy as a result so that's your fault I hope you die adios to you now we've got David Garcia like I said I discussed this a little bit when I was talking about Kate I believe David Garcia will end up being a determinant character as well as with Kate. That is one scenario I have for his character, but I believe David Garcia will end up dying in this episode if he is not a determinant character. I believe um, they've kind of just hinted on this. I believe they want to see Gabe break emotionally because they literally, everything they've been seeing with Gabe and his character arc has been torn to his dad and Clementine, as those are two, seems to be the only two people he cares about because he don't give a damn about what I think is Javier. God, he hates my guts. I freaking tell him to shut up. He's like, no, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Reveal I'd kill Conrad and all that stuff, you know? So that's up to him if he really wants to be like that. Um, I honestly think um, he's going to die. I think he's going to be some sacrifice. I think he's going to end up saving Javier in some instance. If Javier is not given the choice to save either of Kate or David, or, Kate, yeah, that decision. But I believe... Um, David is going to be um, sacrificing himself either for Gabe or Javier if he's not going to end up being determinant. And then that would move on with that. And then we have all the determinant characters. And then we have Gabe as well. So let me go through Gabe first. Then we'll go on all the determinant characters. First, Gabe. A lot of people hate Gabe. I hate Gabe a little bit too. But I can understand why you know, people respect him a little bit. But I really don't like him as a you know character. He's screwed up so many times. And in episode 4, the redeeming qualities, I thought they were going to be there, and he kept screwing up. Telling me about, telling Trip about Conrad, for one, that didn't make me happy. Going after that guy with the gun and getting Javier injured, that didn't help. Then freaking being, like, really rude to me, I really didn't like it either. And then it just his indecision, and sometimes he just has the guts to do something that would just be absolutely stupid. No one in their right mind would do it. I just see him as, like, a Ben. I mean, he's not as bad as Ben, but he's getting to that point. I respect Ben because I, I understand his intents are in the right place, but he just made dumb decisions. But Gabe, I feel, is just making dumb decisions for the hell of it, you know? And I, I feel, I feel, um, my personal opinion, I want him dead, but I believe Gabe will survive, even though I don't want him to, even though 
I do want him to die very much. I believe him and Clementine, even though I do hate the relationship idea, they might have something going on, and I don't know if they're gonna Telltale's gonna continue that. But I believe uh, Gabe will survive. I don't know if it's gonna be with Clementine or not, but I believe he's gonna have some kind of impact next season. Who knows? It seems like episode four, Javier. What I was saying when I was saying something to Gabe about a question he asked. Is saying he remembers, so I'm thinking maybe there's something with this character if they do make another season that they're going to continue on. I don't know. All right, now we've got the the uh, determinant character. Now I'm going to go through Trip or um, Ava. Now, now Trip or Ava, interesting decision here. I don't know how it's going to go off because based on the ending, um, Trip is going to end up helping Javier. It looks like if he's the character save live, he's helping Javier. And I don't know, going into that, uh, Trip might go try to help with uh, Kate in the accident there. But I believe Trip will die somewhere mid throughout the episode, no matter what's going to happen. If he, even if you pick him alive, I don't, I don't see him surviving the episode. He'll probably end up saving uh, Eleanor or having, but definitely, that's going to be an interesting th theory. Look at this. If Trip is alive and he knows now that Eleanor sold them out, what is he going to think of Eleanor now? That completely will change the relationship. They're probably going to have a conflict at some point, but I believe Trip will either sacrifice himself or have um, just some kind of just random death. I don't think he's going to have a lot of screen time. Now with Ava, she's going off with David if uh, she's saved, and I think she'll probably die within the first 30 minutes. She probably won't survive that much. I like her character very much, but I don't see her having that much of an impact in this episode. Um, I think when she goes with David over there, you probably won't run into David in the first 20 minutes of the episode. I believe she'll end up being dead at some point. Maybe the character that um, didn't die out of Joan or uh, <laughs> Joan or Clint, um, that they'll probably end up killing him. Then we've got Joan or Clint. Now this is another interesting one. I believe this character, whichever one that was saved as the uh, main bad guy of the New Frontier, I, for, per se, quote, quote, because I don't really... Clint's not that bad, but you know... We, I know I hate Joan. I really, I'm really, i glad I killed her. She's not to worry about me anymore. But for Joan, I believe she's going to kill a couple people here. Maybe some of those determinate characters if she ends up being alive and our goal is going to be able to take her out or take out Clint. And I believe it's going to be almost the same narrative. And I believe we're going to have uh, maybe a decision maybe to spare him, possibly. But I think no matter what, I think they're going to be dead. And there's not a determinate choice there. I believe Clint or uh, Joan will be dead no matter what. Then we've got three other characters here. Max, Lonnie, and Dr. Lingard. What impact will they have? Because really, the only impact they had in this episode was really at the end. If you killed them, they would show up when Joan revealed the dead bodies. They didn't have any screen time. You didn't see Max. Uh, and Dr. Lingard you did see with the decision, obviously. But I think Dr. Lingard might um, play a role in this episode if you end up keeping him alive because of that decision if we made that decision, the characters do not know where AJ is, so I still think Clem needs to find that out. So how are we going to get to that, like when I said with Clementine, how are we going to get to that um, that McCarroll Ranch if we don't know where it is, if we didn't have Dr. Lingard tell us? But two of those three possible decisions you could have made with Lingard, he ends up telling you. So more than half, or almost about half of the people now know, if you looked on based on the decisions, know where AJ is. The characters in the game actually know where AJ is. And then the other half of the characters that pick to refuse Lingard um, and not take put him out of his misery don't know the characters in the game don't know where AJ is so I believe now that Lingard's gonna reveal that location if he's alive and obviously we'll see about that I don't know Max maybe could uh, show up as a uh, you know help help you out now obviously I think Lonnie I don't know I don't know if they're gonna show him they didn't show him in episode 4 other than if they mentioned you killed him and they're gonna mention if you killed him but I don't think uh, Lonnie's going to have really any impact in this episode. I think Max might. He might be able to, you know, save you from a guard or something, but I think he'll be dead no matter what. And then that, I, uh, we have Rufus. What about Rufus here? Now, another thing, he showed up at the end of episode 4. I don't think he's really going to have any other impact. I know, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't really see anything to his character. He might have some you know, scene or something, but I don't think he's really going to show up in the episode. Some of these determined characters, they don't even die. They just never show up again. You don't even see them. So we'll see. I really don't know. But that is every character I've gone through, so I'm going to go quickly. I know that was a little long and a little fast. I'm talking a little fast there, but let me go through every character really here quick, and let me tell you if I think they're alive. So just in case you may have missed it when I was going through each character. Javier, I have as dead. Clementine, I have as alive. 
Kate I have as a determinant or alive. Um, Gabe I have as alive, even though, God, I hate him a little bit. I'm kind of hoping a little bit that he dies, but I mean, I understand. We'll see. Eleanor I have dead. David Garcia I have as a determinant slash dead. Trip I have as dead. Conrad. Didn't talk about Conrad. I forgot about Conrad. The most interesting of all these characters, I believe, other than Clementine and Javier, is that he's a triple determinant character. Now, in episode 5, there's going to probably be another determinant choice, maybe to save him, or I think it's going to kill him off. I believe there is some hidden impact with Conrad. I might make a video on just Conrad alone, because this is just such a big topic that no one really thinks about that Conrad's survived now in possibly three episodes. He could have been dead in three other episodes. Two, three, and four. It's nuts. So he must have some big choice or some big, you know, scene in episode five where he can have some major impact. Because if he doesn't, that's going to be a letdown. You save him for three episodes just to have some, like, him die. He's got to have some impact on that. And I believe Conrad will die. I don't know if he's going to have a determinant choice like he had in the three, four episodes. I think he's going to have... Um, a saving scene or something. He might just have some big moment, but I don't think he's going to be a determinant character again because they have determinant for four episodes, a quad determinant character. I don't think so, but we'll see about that. I don't know. I believe Conrad is going to die, but I believe he's going to have a big scene or something in episode five if you <laughs> end up saving him. There must be something with his impact if he's been able to be saved in three episodes. That's just nuts. All right, but there was basically that was Conrad, then Ava. I have her as dead. Joan. Um, have her as dead. Clint, dead. Max, possibly, could show up, but I believe he's gonna die anyway. Um, Max, uh, we'll see. Rufus, mm, not really gonna have any scenes. Lonnie, I hope, I hope that bastard's dead. Don't like him at all. And Dr. Lingard, I think he'll be, um, he'll die, but he'll have some kind of impact telling Clem about where AJ is if you didn't end up picking that scene. But those are my theories on all the characters in Episode 5 and what I think is going to happen to them. We may get some new characters in the episode. Who knows, a returning character like Krista or Molly or uh, any other character that could have been. Um, hopefully not Bonnie or Mike or Arvo. I don't think they're going to show up, but we'll see. Maybe even Lily. We'll see. I don't, I don't think they will, but I'm going to make a video about that as well. But these have been my theories for all the characters in Episode 5 and what I think is going to happen to them. I kind of explained a little bit. I went a little rushed, but I really have no idea what's, what's going to happen. I only My only thing I think is going to really happen so far that I know in this episode that we're going to get able to go to that McCarroll Ranch. I don't know if that's going to be a determinate choice. Maybe multiple endings. We'll see. But that is basically my opinion on this episode. If you guys leave your death theories down below in the description, just put a whole list of people and just give me your theories. I'd love to read them and uh, respond. I'd love, obviously, to read your guys' comments and uh, interact with them in any way I can. But that has been my video. If you guys can go check the straw poll link down below in the description if you've been out already. And that has been my video for all the my character death predictions slash who's going to live, who's going to die. So at the end of episode 5, I only see Clem, Gabe, and AJ being live. AJ I didn't talk about a lot, but I believe we'll end up seeing AJ, I think, at the end. And I believe he'll stay alive. I almost forgot about AJ, but I believe AJ will be alive. Um, I just don't know how much of an impact he'll have in the episode. Who knows? We may not even run into him. If we don't run into him, that would be such a letdown. Because they build up this Clem hunting for AJ, Clem hunting for AJ, Clem hunting for AJ, Clem finds out about AJ. That's that's kind of almost our climax point with AJ and Clem's story. Now, we need to get to that climax where they meet, finally. And what happens down there, we'll see as a result. But I believe AJ will be live, Clem and Gabe, and then maybe one of the determinants, maybe being David or... Uh, Kate and I believe Javier as much as I like him to stay alive. I believe he's going down with ship I believe I don't know if they're gonna continue his story, but he's a really likable character So who knows he might live on we'll see but ladies and gentlemen. I think this has been a long video. How long has this been you been? <laughs> 19 minute video. This is gonna be a long video everyone, but if you could leave a like on it, I would appreciate it um, Check the straw pull down below for our next video it might be this weekend or Tuesday But thank you all again for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out